Hello everyone, myself Shilpi Kumari, faculty scientist at Helix Biogenesis. From a long time, we have been receiving requests from students for an online lab visit. So today, I am going to take you to a lab visit of Helix Biogenesis, which is situated at Noida. Helix Biogenesis is a training and research center that offers training to the students of biotechnology and life sciences. They can take up trainings in different branches of biotechnology such as microbiology, molecular biology, food biotechnology, medical microbiology, immunology and animal cell culture. So let's move ahead to the laboratory for a detailed lab visit. This is the classroom come sitting area where students receive 101 classes with the faculty of Helix Biogenesis before performing their day to day experiments. A dedicated time slot of around 20 to 30 minutes is given to each and every student before performing their experiments. This is the whole classroom as you can see. Now let's move to our chemical reagents section where day-to-day -day chemicals are kept. So this is our chemical reagent section. As you can see over here, all the chemicals are kept over here. All the day-to-day -day use of used chemicals are kept on these cells. Rarely used chemicals are kept in these drawers. Apart from this, Few chemicals that are to be kept in lower temperature are kept in, the, in this double door fridge. You can also see some kits that are used in immunology and medical microbiology, biochemistry are kept over here. This Here you can find a culture bank where students keep their bacterial culture and plates stored and the, at the lower temperature for further use. Here you will get two uh, weighing balance. That is one is gram weighing balance and the other one is mg weighing balance. So now let's move to our next, to our first laboratory that is our biochemistry laboratory. So this is our bi biochemistry lab. Here you get a digital pH meter. By using this di digital pH meter, you can measure the pH of different solutions or media that you prepare. Moving ahead, we have a colorimeter by uh, using which you can take the absorbance of the solution. This is the gel rocker which is used for the staining and destaining of the uh, SDS page. Moving ahead, we have a micro centrifuge that is used to centrifuge ependorphs. Then we have a UV visible spectrophotometer by using which we can take absorbance of the solutions ranging in the range from uh, visible to UV. Moving ahead, we have a 96 well plate ELISA reader using which we can uh, take readings and uh, we can perform enzymatic and non-enzymatic experiments. Now we have a Eppendorf centrifuge. Its RPM, we can take its RPM up to 12,000 and it's a cooling centrifuge. Moving ahead, we have microwave which is used for heating and preheating of different solutions. Then we have a deep freezer which is used for keeping all the glycerol stocks, bacterial glycerol stocks and different kits present in our lab. Then we have a fridge where all the reagents are kept that is to be used in the biochemistry lab. Now let's move to our molecular biology lab. This is our molecular biology lab. Here you get two units of elect two electrophoresis unit. One is for RNA electrophoresis and the other one is for DNA electrophoresis. They both have the different power supply units. Moving ahead, we have gel dock to visualize our gel. And using this, we can take a very good quality picture for our research papers or our thesis. 
then we have three different kinds of PCR uh, uh, that is available in our lab. One is having a single annealing temperature PCR. Then we have a diet that is two annealing. Uh, we can run uh, reactions at two different annealing temperatures. And then we have a multi gradient PCR uh, in which we can set six different annealing temperatures and we can uh, run our reaction. Then moving ahead, we have a hot plate. Then we have a UV transilluminator to visualize agarose gel. Apart from this, we have water bath in this uh, molecular biology lab, which is used to incubate uh, different samples at different temperatures. Moving ahead, we have an ultra centrifuge in this molecular biology lab that is used to centrifuge 15 ml falcon tube and its RPM is of 25,000 RPM. Then we have a fridge in which we store uh, reagents of molecular biology lab and you can see lots of reagents are kept over here and now let's move to our next laboratory that is our medical microbiology lab so this is our medical biotechnology lab here students get a laminar airflow to uh, perform different kinds of microbiological tests moving ahead we have incubator shaker for pure culture uh, for pure culture and then an incubator for plates both the incubators at, are maintained at 37 degrees celsius moving ahead we have an ependorf centrifuge that is uh, used to centrifuge uh, blood vials apart from this we also have two other centrifuge for ependorf and then we have a blood biochemistry analyzer that is used for different uh, blood biochemistry tests such as LFT, KFT, HDL, LDL and many more tests. Now let's move to our microbiology lab. This is our microbiology lab. Here you get two sets of laminar airflow where students perform their microbiological tests such as uh, spreading, streaking, pure culture preparation. Apart from this, we have an incubator shaker that is an orbital incubator shaker in this lab which as you can see it is kept over here and this is also maintained at 37 degrees celsius the lower section is orbital shaker and the upper section is dedicated for plates incubation moving ahead we have kept a buchi rota vapor in this lab by using which uh, plant extracts can be prepared at very low temperature. Now let's move ahead to our animal cell culture lab. This is our animal cell culture lab. Here, as you can see, you get a CO2 incubator in which uh, T25 flask or Petri plates are incubated uh, in which uh, cell cultures are maintained. Then moving ahead, we have a biosafety cab cabinet to perform all the cell culture related experiments. Then we have a centrifuge in this lab that is used to centrifuge T25 flask. Moving ahead, we have a dedicated fridge for animal cell culture students in which, the, uh, in which they keep their reagents and media required for their experiments. Apart from this, we have sock slate, hot air oven and autoclave kept in a different room. I hope you like this video and if you have any query you can contact us on the contact number given in the description box email address that is provided in the description box thank you for watching this video have a great day